constantly look outside of ourselves, outside of ourselves, outside of ourselves for love, affirmation, and attention from people who cannot provide it. Healing begins when we risk moving out of isolation. Hi there. Welcome back to the Dr. ASMR Reiki channel. For today's session, I want to offer a short Reiki healing session focused on the inner child. A lot of sessions are out there. A lot of info videos about the inner child. But here, I want to focus on the inner child from the standpoint of ACA, adult children of alcoholics. And you don't need to be an adult child of an alcoholic. You don't need to have any kind of relationship to 12-step programs or anything to benefit from this session. Now, ACA, it focuses on the concept of what it calls para-alcoholism. That is, growing up with someone who has the disease of alcohol in your family means that you grow to have the emotional response of an alcoholic, even if you've never picked up a drink. And so we're going to use that in this session as a framing for understanding the inner child. But first, I want you to breathe with me for a few moments. And through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. you're breathing in through your nose, try and poke your belly out like a Buddha belly. Get that air down as far as you can. Now exhale. When you exhale, exhale. Suck your belly button in like you're trying to touch your spine with it. That's good. That's very good. Okay, now cleanse the space before we set our intention. To do that, I'm going to grab some of this Idaho sage that I picked myself. Idaho mountain sage. I'll get just a piece of it, just a, a sprig.
ACA searches. I hope the ASMR and rig is enjoyable to you. If you found this video through ASMR and rig, I hope the ACA information is useful. Like I had mentioned earlier, you don't have to have grown up in an alcoholic or dysfunctional family to appreciate or find value in the lessons taught by ACA. All of us have an inner child, and that inner child is always helping to shape how we think and feel about issues or situations in the contemporary moment. And no matter what we've been through, our responsibility as adults is to love our inner child into wholeness. You know, sometimes that's easier said than done, because sometimes it's the inner child inside of us that's being the asshole, or that's causing trouble for you in your relationships. Maybe your inner child is where your jealous streak comes from, or maybe your inner child is where find yourself quick to react to stressful situ situations rather than proactively respond to them. But it's not about poking fun at your inner child, and it's definitely not about blaming your inner child. It's about coming to know your inner child so that you might better love and support that inner child to summarize that intention. This session is an ASMR rake session designed to open you up to the healing wisdom of the adult children of alcoholics concept of the inner child. Okay. As we begin, Focus on the present moment, and as you continue to breathe, I want you to let go with every breath, and let go of any worries you might have about the present moment. All the worries of the day, I want you to try and set them down. Now I want to read a bit from my book, White Devil's Black God, which is about I call religious codependency. And I, in that book, speak a lot about ACA and the 12 steps. And I want to read this now to you. Para, alcoholism, the key concept for ACA is understanding that we constantly look outside of ourselves, outside of ourselves, outside of ourselves for love, affirmation, and attention from people who cannot provide it. At the same time, we believe that we are not truly worthy of love or attention. In our view, codependency is driven by childhood fear and distorted thinking. We choose dependent people who abandon us and lack clarity in their own lives because it matches our childhood experiences. The solution to the ACA program promises a response. It promises that healing, 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 healing begins when we risk moving out of isolation. For me, part of that risk is right now in producing these videos. I'm not pandering for sympathy, but this is very truly the case that I'm reaching out of my own comfort zone and hoping that through ASMR Reiki, I might contribute in some way to helping other people. And in doing so, I'll help myself 
feelings and buried memories will return. Here's where the inner child starts to come back alive or starts to come back online by gradually releasing the burden of unexpressed grief. We slowly move out of the past. We learn to reparent ourselves with gentleness, humor, love, and respect. This process, process, process allows us to see our biological parents as the instruments of our existence. Our actual parent is a higher power whom some of us choose to call God. Reiki is a healing energy that works to heal us at every level where we might need healing. In that way, it works alongside of the ACA program or any other program that allows us to release unexpressed grief. All of us, no matter what we've been through or who we've been through it with, have grief in our life. And that grief is often felt by the inner child inside of us. Why? Because children are vulnerable and adults do harmful things in front of them, if not to them. Our inner children are seeking to get out and have us be loving towards them. That's what this program is all about. And that's also the loving energy that Reiki provides. It's kind of like the fuel for the engine of loving ourselves unconditionally, regardless. I want to list the actual ACA 12 steps, and I want to empower them, embolden them with the intense healing energy of Reiki. I want to open and close the reading of these 12 steps. The Reiki symbol, Choco Ray. Choco Ray. One. Choco Ray. Choco Ray. Okay. The first step. The ACA program is that we admitted that we were powerless over the effects of alcoholism or family dysfunction and that our lives had become unmanageable. The second of the steps is that we came to believe that a power greater than us could restore us to sanity or to clarity. Step three, we made a decision to turn our life and our will over to a higher power as we understand that higher power. For me, that higher power is not God. It's not the universe, but it's this. It's sharing and experiences with one another. Four, step four, we made a searching and blameless moral inventory of our parents because in essence, we had become them. These steps in finding your inner child are not about blaming your parents. They are about releasing your parents from the bondage that they hold over all of us. Step five, we admitted to that higher power and to ourselves the exact nature of our feelings of childhood abandonment. In other words, we come to an awareness of how our 
inner child's feelings of neglect or abandon or hurt have impacted our lives as a whole. Six and seven go together. We became entirely ready to have that higher power remove our defects of character. All of those things that make us feel like we couldn't love our inner child even if we wanted to. We simply let go and let God. Step seven is an act, a ritual kind of demonstrating where you are on step six. Step seven, you ask God to remove those, those defects of character. Steps eight, nine, and ten also go together. Step eight, we made a list of all the persons we had harmed, and we became willing to make amends with them. This is similar to the AA program. Wouldn't it be nice if we could apologize to all the people we had hurt? Step nine is whenever possible, made a direct apology to the people we had hurt unless to do so would injure ourselves or them. Step 10, continue to take personal responsibility for our behavior. And here's, here's a tough one. Whenever we are wrong, whenever we find ourselves having done something wrong, now, today, promptly apologizing for it. And the last two, Step 11, my personal favorite, maybe. We sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God or our higher power. Praying only for God's will to help us carry out that will. Step 12, Having had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to others without being preachy or overwhelming, but in trying to demonstrate that there's something here that can help other people. As this session wraps up, I want to encourage you to rewind it if need be. Listen to these 12 steps and think about them as they apply to your life. I'm not asking you to commit to them. I'm really not. There are no rules to this. There are no real rules to Reiki. They offer solace. They offer the healing of past relationships. They offer the promise of joy-filled relationships in our future. With that, I want to close the session with a few more Reiki symbols.
And don't be afraid to tell your inner child that you love them. They certainly look to you for guidance.